Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Spearman's rank correlation, uh, its introduction formula, and how to calculate Spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given directly. So, this is my part A video in the series of Spearman's rank correlation. So, this topic is taken from Unit 7 Nursing Research and Statistics. This topic will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, and students who are studying MSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. As I have told earlier, in correlation coefficient, you are having a uh, so many methods out of that one is Carl Pearson method which we have already discussed and posted many videos with regard to Carl Pearson correlation coefficient method as well as its examples. So in this video we are going to discuss about Spearman's rank correlation coefficient under Spearman's rank correlation coefficient there are uh, two types three types so one when marks are given directly uh, then uh, you have to identify the ranks when ranks are given directly you can substitute in the formula and do it directly suppose if uh, ranks are not given if marks are given as i have told earlier you have to identify the rank and you have to do it so under when marks are given that time you have two types again so when marks are repeated you will be doing it differently when marks are not repeated you will be finding out the ranks and do it differently so in this video only i am going to discuss with the example sum where ranks are given where ranks are given directly directly they have given the rank so you can substitute easily in the formula and you can do it directly so let's see rank correlation so spearman's rank correlation so in 1904 charles edward spearman a british psychologist found out the method of ascertaining the coefficient of correlation by means of ranks this method is based on rank so we are getting our ranks no first rank second rank third rank in any competitive exams and how they are finding out the rank correlation by means of using this spear mass rank correlation this measure is useful in dealing with qualitative characteristics such as your intelligence your beauty your morality character etc so to assess these qualitative characters like intelligence beauty morality characters etc it cannot measure anything up quantitatively as in the case of pearson coefficient method or correlation so pearson's um, coefficient correlation carl pearson's coefficient of correlation measures the quantitative uh, characteristics but uh, the qualitative characteristics are better measured by means of spearman's rank correlation so rank correlation is applicable only to individual observations. The results we get from this method is only an approximate one because under ranking method original values are not taken into account. So the formula for Spearman's rank correlation is denoted by the symbol rho. So this symbol is called as a rho. It's not p, it is not small p, it is rho. Okay, R H O. So it is what? R H O it is pronounced as Rho that is R H O so the the Spearman's rank correlation is denoted like Carl Pearson correlation coefficient is denoted by the symbol small r here the Spearman's rank correlation is denoted by Rho so what is the formula Rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation of d square or sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1. Rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation of d square divided by n into n square minus 1. So where rho is uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, d is difference between the two ranks, rank 1, rank 2 or rank x, rank y like that. Okay. Then n is number of observations. n is number of observations. Um, 
so this is the formula for spearman's rank correlation so sometimes uh, in some books they will be giving capital n also so no problem they will be telling 1 minus 6 uh, uh, sigma d square divided by capital n into a, capital n square minus 1 or uh, they will be simplifying it as rho is equal to 1 minus uh, 6 sigma d square divided by n n into n square is n cube n minus n into minus 1 is minus n so in this way also they will be giving so nothing to worry so you can use any formula but the apt formula is since n is less than 30 you can take this formula okay small n you can represent so rank correlation correlation means itself it will lie between minus 1 to plus 1 as i have told earlier in carl pearson correlation coefficient also the r will be running from minus 1 to plus 1 so here also it will be from the row will be running from either minus 1 to plus 1 so when we come across spearman's rank correlation we may find two types of problems so first thing is when ranks are given when ranks are not given when ranks are given you can apply it directly in the formula when ranks are not given suppose they have given marks means you have to identify the uh, rank and you have to do the calculation similarly in marks also sometimes there will be repetition of marks so that time you need to add correction factor which will we will be dealing in our later videos so in this uh, video as i have told earlier only we are going to discuss with the, the thing when ranks are given directly so, the following are the ranks obtained by students in statistics and mathematics. So, statistics, first student score, first rank, second rank, third rank, fourth rank, fifth rank, sixth rank, seventh rank, eighth rank, ninth rank, tenth rank. In mathematics, the first student has scored first rank, second student has scored in mathematics fourth rank, third student has scored second rank. 5th rank, 3rd rank, 9th rank, 7th rank, 10th rank, 6th rank and 8th rank respectively. So this is the ranks of the students who have scored in statistics and mathematics. So we have to find out the rank correlation coefficient. So we can take, so this first thing marks obtained in statistics we can take it as x, rank of x and marks obtained in mathematics can be taken as y. So marks obtained in statistics is taken as x and marks obtained in uh, mathematics can be taken as y okay so r of x r of y so r of x what marks what ranks have been scored here in statistics what ranks have been scored first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth so whereas marks scored in mathematics is one four sorry not marks ranks sorry ranks scored in mathematics is first one first fourth second five three nine seven ten six and eight so let's see the thing after uh, putting these values in the table so here in a uh, rx rx is nothing but rank of uh, rank what was scored by students in uh, the subject statistics then ry is rank which was scored by students in the subject mathematics so let's see put all the values so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 19 you have put and ry values what is ry values 1 4 2 5 3 9 7 10 6 8 so how you got these values already from the given data you got these values next is d is equal to r x minus r y d is what r x minus r y so what is r x minus r y see r x you have difference difference d is nothing but the difference between the two ranks i told what are the two ranks r x is one rank and r y is another rank so one minus one is zero one minus one is zero two minus four is minus two three minus two is one then four minus five is minus one 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 9 is minus 3, 7 minus 7 is 0, 8 minus 10 is minus 2, 9 minus 6 is 
3. 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay. So, in this way, you have to find out uh, D values by subtracting Rx values from Ry values. Next, what we have to do? We have to find out D square because in the formula, we want what? We want D square. So, 0 square is 0. Minus 2 square is minus 2 into minus 2, 4. 1 square is 1. Minus 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 0 square is 0. Minus 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 2 square is 4. So, you have found out D square. Now, next to what you have to found, you have to add all the D square values. So, that you will be getting sigma D square value. So, add everything so that you will be getting sigma D square or summation of D square values. So, 0 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4 plus 9 plus 4. So, when you are adding all all these values you will be getting what you will be getting 36 so next you have to substitute in the formula what is the formula rho is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1. So, 1 minus 6 into what is sigma d square? Yes, it is 36. 6 into 36 divided by what is n? How many values they have given? 10 values they have given. In each set of observation they have given 10 values. So, n is 10 into n square is 10 square. 10 into 10 minus 1. So, see here I have given it very clearly. P is equal to 1 minus 6 into 36 divided by 10 into 10 square. What is 10 square? 10 square is 100. 100 minus 1. Okay. So, 1 minus 6 into, 6 into 36 is how much? 216 divided by 10 into 100 minus 1. How much? Yes, 99. So, Again, you will be getting is equal to 1 minus 216 divided by 990. 99 into 10 is 990. So, when you are dividing 216 by 990, you will be getting 0 0.2. 218 you will be getting 0 0.218 so 1 minus 0 0.218 the answer is 0 0.782 so the answer is 0 0.782 okay so which shows there is a correlation which exists between ranks obtained in mathematics and statistics so there is a positive correlation between the ranks obtained in mathematics and statistics hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos as well as videos related to plus one plus two science subjects thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel